Hello, we have come up with a new case called Prabir Purkhyasta case, wherein Supreme Court has very clearly mentioned and given the direction that even in the aspects of UAPA, Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, that an individual liberty must be respected, yea, then a detainee must be informed of the grounds on which he is going to be arrested. This case was also, or this notion was also put forward by the Supreme Court even in the PMLA case, Prevention of Money Laundering Act case. However, with this judgment, it becomes imperative for, for the agencies to inform the detainee why they are arresting a person, yeah, then it becomes a necessity to uphold the aspect of individual liberty which is guaranteed in the constitution under Article 22 during the detention. And the third aspect, by, by becoming a police state, whether it is anywhere across India, Supreme Court says that upholds the due process of law. That is the most important aspect which needs to be understood with the intent and content of the act. Only then the possibility of upholding the individual liberty will be possible. That is the opinion of Supreme Court. One must also understand in certain circumstances, police may not be having the time to inform the grounds. It may be during the instances of nas national security, if they are arresting the terrorist or any anti-social elements, probably in the haphazardness, it may not be possible for them to inform the grounds in, or, I mean, through a written document. At the same time, there can also be the technical lapses by the police department, even though they get a lot of training from the hard and taxpayers' money. Yet they commit the mistakes. The similar mistake was also committed in HD Ravana arrest case in Karnataka, wherein even after the two days of arrest of Mr. HD Ravana, who was accused of kidnapping a victim, SIT failed to record the statement of the victim. Therefore, even in case of HD Ravana, he got the bail because of the mistakes of SIT. Even in the Prabir, Purkhyasta case. The case is very strong for the simple reason it is trying to prove or it is trying to accuse that Prabir Purkhyasta, who is the editor of News Click, who has been found, funded by China to propel the anti national activity, that is a serious charge, but because of the mistake or probably ignorance of the officers, that Prabir Purkhyasta, who may be a threat according to the police, but he is free now. He got the bail just because of the mistakes committed by the officers. Unless the government fixes this loophole or this uh, serious grave ignorance on the part of officials, we cannot expect the guilty to be punished. Or we can also understood, understand in this way that police did not have the actual and the proper grounds or the proof against Prabir Purkhyasta to prove that he was doing some anti-national activity. However, the case is going to continue. It is not right to uh, comment anything unless we have something on record. However, the thing was, let us understand the chronology per se. So on October 3, 2023, Prabir Purkhyasta, who was the editor of News Click Agency, was arrested. And on 4th, he was sent to detention. And by 5th of October, it is already 48 hours. Now, his lawyer was informed of the grounds of his arrest. Now, this is where the Supreme Court raising its question on behalf of Prabir Purkhyasta or on behalf of any victims. The idea is very simple, that he was arrested on 3rd and 5th, he was informed. Supreme Court now, it states that as soon as or before arresting only, you should inform the crowds. Now, police, Delhi police or the special cell has failed to do so. Similar thing was happened in uh, Pankaj Bansal case, which is also regarding Prevention of Money Laundering Act. In 2023, Supreme Court said that ambit of informing a person during the 
arrest or detention must be informed. That means he should know the grounds on which he is going to be arrested. The Supreme Court uh, states that individual liberty must be respected and uh, you should follow the due process of law. So that is the, all the case about from the government and additional solicitor generals and others were claiming that he should not be granted bail. Whereas because of the serious lapse, Prabir Purkyasta got the bail. That doesn't mean that charges on him will get vitiated. No. The charges will still continue. However, the case was very simple. Right. And we must understand what are the learnings we are going to get from this case. The important is that whether police have done this purposefully or it was due to the technical error, which needs to be addressed. Then Supreme Court says that there is no difference in the language under Article 19A or not Article. Uh, let's say it is the Clause 19A, 191 of Prevention of Money Laundering Act that was in the Bansal case. Supreme Court said that you should inform the grounds. Otherwise, we will say that it is illegal to arrest a person without informing him the grounds because individual liberty is guaranteed under the constitution as a fundamental right under article 22a of the constitution. Then there is also the language is similar when it comes to 43b1 of UAPA that means the power and procedure of arrest a person. The simple fact is that sir and madam Supreme Court had extended this provision of informing the detainee of or the grounds on which he is going to be arrested was extended to PMLA. Initially, there was no such clause in PMLA Act itself in 2023 Bansal case. In 2024, now Supreme Court extends that clause to UAPA as well. Now, it is, it is on the part of government to come up with some amendment. Probably, the Supreme Court may strike down that you are going against the uh, basic uh, fundamental right or liberty of a person. However, it can say that in the exceptional cases or in the extreme events, it may not be possible to inform the grounds or informing the ground in itself may create some sort of escape route to a person because of the uh, lack of, uh, uh, because the inquiry will be in the initial stages and he may get the bail that that can be one of the clauses or one of the reasons given by the government. However, we need to see how it is going to be developed. And now the Supreme Court says personal liberty is paramount. And uh, so communicating in uh, writing, if not, then it will be considered as lapse or the violation of constitution under Article 22.5. Then Pankaj Bansal case, we know that in PMLA, this was extended or this provision was extended or clearly, explicitly pushed by the Supreme Court in PMLA case. Now, important uh, things we know, we must know that UAPA, this is a Purkyasta case from here onwards, it will be quoted, every UAPA person who is going to be arrested, whether retrospectively one may come up with this idea stating that we had not informed, we were not given the legal counsel to represent ourselves, we were illegally detained. So these many questions or these sort of questions can be raised uh, and it may come up in front of the High Courts and Supreme Courts. And Article 22, because it is also a breach of fundamental rights, so persons can directly go to the Supreme Court and protection during the arrest and detention that has the important cornerstone. And due process of law, we must know the, when you say as the law, it is not just procedure established by law, because anything can be written and anything can be passed by the parliament and anything cannot become law. It has to pass the test of due process of law, whether its intent and content, both the things are followed. Who is going to test? It is the Supreme Court. It is the final interpreter of the constitution. And uh, in such cases, of, if parliament has committed uh, or, or, or failed to uh, follow the procedure of basic structure of the constitution, even in such cases, Supreme Court will say, I will struck down the law. That means due process of law must be maintained. It is also an important factor for upholding or, or making the state a rule-based state over a police state or um, a state of laws than the men or um, uh, a state of police. That's the most important fact. Also, it is necessary for a healthy democracy. Now, access to legal counsel is a necessity again. See, we have seen uh, in most of the cases, common people may talk. 
that why a terrorist is given a legal counsel but yeah it is the development of law or uh, legal precedents that even a guilty must be given his chance to make his point uh, that is the whole procedure and nobody should be deprived of his right to uh, legal counsel that has been the tradition and custom across the world that's why even in case of when everybody was seen during the mumbai attack there was a person called ajmal kasab who had gun who was shooting we had cctv clips we had media footages everything yet he was given a legal counsel to defend himself that's a beauty of uh, i don't know what to call anyhow so access to legal counsel and uh, uh, that's all we have explained the chronology that's done and charge sheet file cannot cannot validate the illegality committed during the arrested arrest so that needs to be uh, remembered from this case it's a lesson also for the police also for the governments that even if you are you know arresting genuinely if you do not follow the proper procedure that can be lapsable or that can be considered as a illegal act and may give away or it may be the reason or grounds for a person who is accused of certain crimes to get bail so whenever there is an opportunity or option police and the departments often times we see that in the media or in the politics or in parliament or elsewhere in the media especially or in the popular public parlance we accuse the persons and authorities with so many charges so many charges so many allegations so many lot many things but when it comes to uh, filing the charge sheet right they will be having certain grounds or loopholes to escape and most of the times when inquiry gets elongated we have seen in lot many cases lot many cases either due to the negligence of the uh, investigating authorities or maybe any of the reasons that public talk will be there or because of the ignorance or because of not properly trained personnel taking up these cases no we can only say that but in reality probably they will be doing because of some purpose i don't know whether it is ulterior motive whether it is a malefied intention i don't know but the fact is very simple that because of the chart sheet or because of the technical errors there will be grounds on which a guilty or let's not say guilty for now accused person will be given space to escape through bail or he may 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 uh, vitiate all the charges because of the illegality committed during the arrest the important takeaways we have learnt the basic fact is that we are not getting into the merit of the case but the fact that because of the mistakes now if the agency says that he is an anti national element he should not be allowed even everybody is saying the same thing and supreme court also said that he must not be allowed to uh, meet uh, the persons who have accused him or uh, uh, whoever that may tarnish the you know proof and or anything he cannot do such activities however the fact is very simple that he got a bail solely because of the solely because of police may say it is it was a technical error but yeah solely because of irresponsibility of the police during filing the charge sheet or let's say not filing the charge sheet uh, it was during arrest that they should have given the reason in writing probably one more thing can be the uh, last thing last thing probably in most of the uapa cases this precedent was not set up okay so police thought it is not necessary for the accused or the detainee to inform of the reasons or grounds on which he is going to be arrested probably but new precedent has been set up now it is for the government to come up either with amendments or come up with the with the with the changes that we will henceforth give in writing and allow for legal counsel access to legal counsel that's a basic fundamental right under article 22 five or article 22 one that is right to liberty and life hope this uh, session or this uh, 
discussion was useful. The same thing happened even in, as I mentioned, uh, in Ravana case. So H.D. Ravana, who is uh, who was a former a former minister of Karnataka, and he was accused of the uh, charges of kidnapping. Now SIT arrested him uh, in the month of May 2024. Now SIT has committed a mistake that he has it has not recorded the statements by the victims. Okay, so that means HD Revanna in High Court or the court which is meant for special court which is meant for you know dealing the cases of elected representatives. Okay, so it it granted bail to HD Revanna who is also a JDS leader, who is also a father of a person who is on hideout or who has ran from the India, that is Mr. Prajwal Revanna, okay, because of the serious charges during the uh, elections and uh, because of his personal, some of the charges on him. Anyhow, because SIT had committed this error, so Revanna was released on bail. Now there can be question whether it was a conspiracy against Ravenna or why why SIT was not prepared to prepare to record the statements. All such questions can be asked. Anyhow, it is for the public uh, uh, talk or or for the courts to decide again the merits and the uh, you know, uh, all sorts of mistakes or whatever the conspiracies it can be. For now, let us end. My idea was to give that because of the technical lapses, most of the cases go out of the hand or gets derailed, derailed, beautiful world. So this discussion was useful. Thank you very much for joining with me for this beautiful discussion. I hope this was a learning experience and we learned something new. And also a new precedent which is set by the Supreme Court must also be understood by everybody. Thanks a lot. Namaskar.